So here's what it looks like when your students go into Symphony Math. The very first time they log on, they are going to take a benchmarking test. And the way your students log on is to go to mysymphonymath.com, which should be bookmarked for them so they don't have to type that each time. Or they can go into an iPad through the app if you have iPads. The very first time they log in, they do have to put the account number at the top. After that, it should be saved, so they shouldn't have to put it in again. So this is my first login, so I'm going to go into the benchmarker, which you'll get to see now. Students should say yes to both full screen and taking the test. Symphony does give directions about how to use the math test. This is what a first grader would see when they go in, and then the benchmarker will start to scaffold around them based on their answers. Students can skip a question, but they cannot go back and pick it up later. So if at all possible, it would be better for them to make their best guess. Students will go straight into the Symphony game board when they have finished their benchmarker. Students click go and they will go into the instruction phase. 